in this video we will be setting up the Netgear Wi-Fi extender to the Agro 800 controller. You see in some applications Ethernet cabling may be an issue and a wireless solution may be a more practical way to establish connectivity between your Agro 800 and the Agro cloud. Now the first thing you want to do is connect the USB adapter and the Ethernet cable to the Netgear device as you see it right here. Next, you want to go ahead and plug in the end of the Ethernet cable into the laptop as well as the USB portion to provide power to the Netgear device. The next thing you want to do is on the Netgear Wi-Fi extender you want to hit the WPS button which will allow for this device to begin to search for wireless networks. Once you do that, quickly open the web browser and in the web browsing bar simply type in mywifiext.com. You will next see the Netgear Smart Wizard setup page pop up and it will populate the screen with wireless networks which have been detected. And for our example, we will connect with the link for guest. And we'll click that radio button and then we'll hit continue. Now for some networks you'll be prompt to input a passcode. And right now the smart wizard is authenticating the passcode with the network and it usually takes about two minutes or less for this to complete. Now once this screen has taken its course you will see a banner that populates and states you have successfully connected to the wireless network. Now from the iGro 800 controller we want to go ahead and check something out first. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to go to System Setup and then we're going to go to number 8 communication setup and then IP address setup and as you can see in the IP address setup screen all of our IP address information is not populated but you want to make sure that the IP address mode is in fact in auto DHCP get back the cloud setup now in this screen the connection status is currently check connection which simply means the cloud cannot see this controller but what we're going to do is plug our Netgear in right now. Go to IP address setup, open the controller, plug our Netgear into the port of the communication module and close the control. Now immediately after we have plugged it in, our IP address screen now displays our network information. And if we were to hit back and go to the cloud setup, our connection status currently says OK. Note, if this controller has never been on the cloud, it would display check account until you add it to the cloud. But since this controller is on another cloud account, it is viewable from that account and that's why the connection status is okay. And for our demonstration, we're simply going to go ahead and add this controller to the cloud and control it from the cloud wirelessly. So I'm simply going to go ahead and log in. And from the cloud, we're going to go ahead and add this controller and take the serial number and the passcode from this page. And as you can see, this controller is on the cloud and I'm going to hit the home button here you can see the humidity and temperature reflect and I'm going to go ahead and force this channel number one on and let's see if it responds accordingly remotely and as you can see it does and that's our video on setting up 
the Netgear Wi-Fi extender to the Agro 800.